Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has definitely been a while, and I say this in every video, but life just gets so busy sometimes. It was recently my birthday and I also annoyingly had Covid just before that, so I do have a ton of stuff next to me that I need to film, so that should be coming over the next few weeks. If you go and follow me over on Instagram, you'll get all the updates from all of the new outfits and links and discount codes and everything like that. Today I am going to be talking you through two of my absolute favourite style of dresses. Now it is an extremely hot day here in England and I have shut the blind to try and stop the sun coming in but if I appear sweaty in, or dewy in this video at all, I apologise. I can't help it. <laughs> so the two styles that I'm going to go for today, one is a little bit more chic and silk and dressy, and the other one is kind of bodycon, cool girl, trendy kind of vibes. They are also very, very different colourways, so matching them with handbags and shoes and things like that is a little bit trickier when you go for the more colourful things. I tend to wear less colour, but I also do have some things in my wardrobe, including this dress, that are quite bright. <laughs> Let's start with the neutral tone outfit, and I will also be trying these on for you. I'll pop some little cutaways in so that you can see what it looks like on, and with the different options as well. First up is this brown silk number. Both dresses are from Femlux. Now, I actually really love their dresses. I've never bought a dress from like House of CB or anywhere like that. I think I only bought one dress from O Poly and it barely fit me, so I didn't buy any more. But I have a really good track record with the dresses from Femlux. So from Lux, Fem Lux. So this is the brown silk effect dress. I will leave all the links below. And if you can see, it's got like this ruche effect here by the skirt, so it comes down from the slit at your hip and then curves nicely around which is super flattering on the figure and it also has a cowl neck I where did I post that I think it was on Instagram or on TikTok or something and someone was like cow neck and I was like no cowl neck <laughs> so that is the bit at the front that gives you that really flattering drape look now this is great if you have some booby tape because you can stick the underneath bits which gives you some kind of safety and confidence that if you lean forwards or anything like that then you're not going to fall out. However, I don't find the need to do that with this dress, um, it just kind of works for me as is. It also has an adjustable strap so that you can make it as long or as short as you want to. Um, I tend to have them quite long because I'm quite tall and I have quite long shoulders or like broad shoulders so I tend to leave them how they are like that but I mean it's up to you you have the option so it does have this kind of wrap effect underneath obviously I'll you'll see this in the cutaway as well but it does have the wrap effect under there but there is kind of no way that you would come out of this dress because the wrap goes all the way underneath and then on the side a very handy zip down here which oh, is just when you're trying to get into a dress and you're getting ready for a night out and you can't get in because there's no zip, you've already done your hair and makeup, please, that is just one of the worst things ever. Now this dress I would say is probably more of a dinner vibe rather than like a going out on the town vibe, but that might just be me. I would wear this for like a nice dinner and drinks out kind of thing, so that's what I have styled the accessories for. For this outfit, I have gone with the super summery cork heels. Now, these were from ASOS, and I think they were about £8. I don't know whether they still do them. However, there are lots of styles like this, and especially in the same shape, if the cork is not really your thing. You can get all kinds of, like, strappy sandal type ones. And the Perspex clear on here is also a massive trend and has been for a while. So it should be relatively easy to find some similar heels. But they just have a simple ankle strap that wraps around and ends up something like that. They don't draw the attention away from the dress. And as the dress is quite strappy and silky and just kind of simple, I wanted to put a simple heel with it as well so that it didn't distract too much from the chicness of the dress. 
for the bag, again, I've gone for something in the same colourway and also kind of small and simple. So I'm making the dress the focal point of this outfit because I just think it looks so much more classy. This is a leopard print Dolce & Gabbana tiny mini bag with a gold chain strap. I absolutely love this. It really doesn't fit anything in it. I don't even think, where's my phone? I don't even think my phone fits in here. I do actually use this quite a lot, but I mean, it's definitely a night out bag. All you can get in here is a card and some lipstick and maybe some mints, but I would just carry my phone kind of like this with it and not really worry too much about that. As I say, this is more of a dinner dress, not a night out dress, so I would be less worried about losing my phone. Again, this is a relatively expensive bag, however, there are so many different types of mini bags. The Bottega Veneta um, crisscross one, I can't remember what it's called, that would look really nice, the handheld one. You can get some really pretty like tie top bags, there's loads of different ones, but just go for a small miniature kind of handheld bag, nothing over the shoulders, nothing too fussy, just something little. Accessories wise, I probably wouldn't put any more jewellery on so if you normally wear a watch or you normally wear a couple of rings like I do I have a few I wouldn't add more I would maybe it's that classic phrase what's it called um if you so, oh I think it was Chanel that said it, it was something about jewellery and it was uh, always take something off this is that kind of scenario so maybe I would take some of my bracelets off I would switch to well these are small but if I had bigger ones on I'd switch to smaller earrings something like that but if you're feeling really fancy maybe some kind of headband you can get nice metal ones that just have a few flowers on them so they're basically invisible but I quite liked the pearl look I know it's a bit out there considering the rest of the outfit but I just think it looks quite cute I also always love to pair my outfits with a perfume. Now, if you know me or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with Penhaligons and that's basically all that I wear. I'm pretty sure I have a Penhaligons video on this channel somewhere. I need to do an updated version of my collection. But this is the Terrible Teddy. Now this is one of their portraits collections. So this is one of the more expensive, more exclusive kind of ones, not part of the normal range. I don't have all of these because they are very expensive, but I do love them and they are some of my favourites. They just tend to have a deeper smell to them, a deeper scent. So this one is kind of, I think they described it as woody, vanilla and oak and I think it just goes with this outfit for me because it's very neutral, very tonal, not autumnal, but deep and sophisticated. <laughs> that is that for the first outfit. Let me know in the comments if you would pair it with anything differently, if you have the scent, if you like the scent, if you have the dress, if you like the dress. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and we will move on to outfit number two. Outfit number two is definitely more colourful than the last one. I have this style dress from Femme Lux in quite a few different colours and like different shapes so this is slightly different to the other ones I have I believe it's very roughly like all the way down it's almost like a fishtail style dress so it has a seam at the side and a seam down the back as well it also has the overlap at the front so this is only connected as you can see at the top and then it just sort of hangs over like that sort of like the neckline on the other one but different. <laughs> it also has these tiny, tiny, I don't know if you could call them sleeves, maybe like armbands, <laughs> that just sort of drape over your shoulder like that. They just kind of look quite feminine and don't look as harsh as a straight cut sort of boob tube dress. So this is obviously a bit more of a brighter colour, so pairing this with accessories can sometimes be quite difficult. So I have gone for the trusty black and white combination. Now these are some of my comfiest and favourite heels. These were from Topshop quite a while ago, but again, whatever's in your wardrobe, use a dupe, use something that's the same kind of style. And they are just very simple sort of slingback heels, 
and this has diamantes all the way around here, so it's just a little bit of detail. Again, I didn't want to put something too fussy with the dress, because the dress is quite fussy already. So as much as the other one was sort of classy and chic in focal point, this one is a bit more out there. I felt like something simple and classic would be a better option for this dress. So simple with the shoes, and I love the pointed toe. This dress is super flattering and figure hugging, so when you have a pointed toe, it just means that there are a few more sharp edges in the outfit rather than it all being kind of round. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes if the dress is super tight, I like to put a pointy sharp heel with it just to make it kind of cutting. Then for the bag, I picked two choices. So the first is this little vintage Gucci Jackie bag. Now I know they have released some new ones of these. There is a new style Jackie bag and it is absolutely beautiful. But I like my trusty little vintage ones. I like my bags to look a little bit beaten up. <laughs> Super simple. You can hold it by the handle like this or probably not with this dress but you can just pop it on your shoulder. Again it doesn't really fit much in it. However, this is definitely a night out bag, so you can at least get your phone, purse, lipstick, mints, I don't know, ID <laughs> in the bag. The second choice of bag is this beautiful little Chanel drawstring bag. This was actually from a site on Depop and they used um, like Chanel beauty, oh it's all furry, <laughs> they used Chanel beauty bags and different, basically they recycle old designer things to make new things, which I love, I love that concept. So this, again, doesn't fit much in it, it's not hugely spacious, but it can fit enough in it. Just do up the little drawstring here and chuck it over your shoulder, it's definitely one of those. I just think it's super cute, and again you can fit enough in it for a night out. Also with this one, if you've got kind of silver on the shoes or gold on the shoes, I would always pick the same strap. I'm not too fussy about mixing jewellery, so gold and silver jewellery or, I mean, as you can see there are so many different colours of jewellery on me, I'm not too fussed about that, but when it comes to bags and shoes, I definitely think they have to match. As this dress is probably more summer vibes, I picked the Penhaligon's Equinox Bloom. This has more of a deep fruity scent, so it is quite fruit and it is quite light, but it's also not like sickly floral, it's got kind of a classy floral thing to it. <laughs> I also think the sun just disappeared as I said summer, which is interesting, but the, yeah, this is definitely more of a vanilla fruity rather than like a sweet fruity. So this is probably one of the ones that I would pair with this dress. I wouldn't go for like a woody deep scent because this dress just doesn't give off that same kind of vibe. Those were the two dress styles for this video. I hoped you liked seeing the difference between how I would style either one. If they are still available, I will leave links below, and if the exact dresses aren't available, I will leave some similar ones, because they do have so many on the website, and they're all so pretty. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or any comments, leave in the comments which outfit you liked best and which you were more likely to wear. It would be interesting to see how many people pick either one of them, so leave them in the comments and let me know and I will see you again soon.